I'm being this. forcibly removed from the building again of a public lobby. So, so if you want to take off that gun and badge, I'm happy to scrap with you one day. Sir, please, is there anything I can do, sir, please? Don't do this to my wife, man. You don't know what you're doing to my family, man. Please. I'm begging. I'm literally begging. Where am I going to put my feet? Sir, I'm begging you, please. Please. You want to do it, You let's do it. Let me know, buddy. That is not a crime, and you're telling me to get out of my vehicle. Do you know where Lieutenant Mingus is right now? So, no, he's not in the building? I don't know. I'm not. What do you know? Okay, I don't want that man taking my picture. Uh, Why sir, don't you take him out of here? Sir, you hit me. I'm a you hit me. Okay, sir, okay now you take my picture, then. I don't know you. I'm not telling you nothing else until I find out who's driving that vehicle. You not a supervisor, bro. I need somebody higher than you right now. I didn't break the law. I'm not going to be found guilty of anything. This is a waste of time. If you guys want to know who I am, I'll tell you who I am. Okay. You want to know what I'm doing here? I'll tell you what I'm doing here. Uh, if you didn't know, I went to the police academy and they kicked me out. That's my purse! I don't know you! Spit me on my face right now! She spit in my face! Please, sir, please don't make me sleep in jail. I'm begging you. We're not criminals! They're going to make me sleep in jail. Why? Sir, please. Please, dude, please. Oh my God, don't do that to him. You he guys don't know what did. you're doing to me, man. Why? Where are you? Ma'am, stay right here. Ma'am, oh, ma'am. Ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. You, no, you, can't, you, can't go you guys really don't know what you're doing to my life with this, man. Seriously, please. We really haven't been getting a lot of support from the community. Um, you know, we need help getting hotels. Uh, we've pretty much got the food and gas covered, but if there's any way anyone can help out in any way, guys, the hotels, uh, the fees have really been killing us. Um, you know, we don't make a, a million dollars. We don't make a whole lot of money. But if there's any way anyone can help out, please, we couldn't do it without you guys. Today's video takes us to the beautiful state of New Mexico, where we find the lass who's driving the wrong way on the road. Imagine that. Almost 3 o'clock in the morning. Mmm. Bad things happen at 3 o'clock in the morning. Can only mean one thing. Maybe the lass has imbibed a bit too much. Perhaps. Mmm. Definitely so. And now she's got other issues. Oh, I'm not even going to get into the issues that this lass has. You'll just have to listen to it for yourself. But this is textbook case of what not to do when you're stopped by the police at 3 o'clock in the morning. Let's all sit back, watch, have a good laugh, and most of all, <laughs> enjoy! What's going on? Nothing. Why are you driving in the wrong way of traffic? No, I just got changed around. I just moved here like two months ago. Okay. And I just got changed around. Okay. Do you understand what's going on though? Yes. You're going into oncoming yes. traffic. I know, and I just decided that it was better just to turn around really fucking quick. So, okay. But I'm sorry. Do you live here or are you just trying to... I just moved here. No, but do you live here in like this apartment complex? Oh, no. Okay. I didn't, but... So um, you were just like, hey, I'm gonna, exactly. I'm gonna turn around by coming in here. I'm sorry. Okay. Uh, this is your car? Yes. I will get your insurance well, too. Well, not my car, but it's my mom's because my car got kind of fucked up. Houston, we have a problem right off the bat. Is this your car? Yes. Well, no, it's my mother's. It's a pretty simple question. Is this your car would be yes or no. Now it's yes, now it's no. Well, come on, little girl. Do you have any weapons on you? Anything I need to know about? No, but that's the thing. It's like, I don't want to step out whenever you're asking for stuff. Okay, well, we're past that. Let's just go ahead and step out. I'll walk you back to my patrol car, and then I'll talk to you back there. Just like as an indigenous person, and... right back here, please, Miss Perry. Am I well? I'm non binary, so okay. 
All right, so this person, who we think is a woman, decides that she's non-binary. Now, I'm not going to pretend I'm an expert on it, but apparently it means you could be either a man or a woman. You could identify as both, and I'm just going to leave it at that. And the only reason I put this in here was because I know some people out there are wondering, what the hell is that all about? Well, I'm not 100% sure, but uh, that's what I think it is. You could be a man or a woman. Mm. So let's carry on and see what happens with this uh, person. Okay. What do you go by? This is Kai. How can I refer to you tonight? Kai? Kai? Okay. Hey, I'm smelling alcohol. I know. How much have you consumed tonight? Like probably three drinks. Three drinks? Okay. Judging by driving wrong way on that street? I know. That's the other thing that well, I'm Well, hang on. About. Don't cut me off. Judging by how you're driving, the smell, I need to run you through some tests right now. Okay? That's why I have you out of the car. Well, that's the thing that I asked about before. I said, okay, so you're just giving me for my registration. And mm -hmm. you said yes. Yep. And now you're running me for other stuff. Yeah, I'm going to run you through some to. tests to make sure you're safe to drive. Okay? Okay. So I'm going to turn off these blinking lights. That way they're not affecting your eyes as I go through your, mm -hmm. your test tonight. So our lass or lad or whatever she wants to be called doesn't seem very enthusiastic here about the tests that are upcoming. Now she's going to come up with every excuse in the book as to why she can't take the test. Listen to some of these. Maybe you can use them next time if you ever get stopped. You said you had three drinks. What kind of drinks would those be? Rum and a cider. Okay. Are we talking like a mixed drink? Are we talking a shot? What are we talking about? Well, rum is going to be a mixed drink. Cider is just a cider. Okay, perfect. Stand facing me, please. But I just want you to know that I also have very bad social anxiety. You and me both. Okay. Okay. Stand with your feet together, toes touching, arms by your side, just like I am. Hands outside of your pockets, please. I'm going to have you take those glasses off. You can fold them up, put them in one of your pockets. Perfect. I'm going to be going back and forth with my finger. I don't want you to move your head throughout this test. I just want you to focus on the tip of my finger, only moving your eyes. You obviously have glasses, so there's no contacts in your eyes right now, correct? Any recent head trauma, traumatic brain injuries, anything I need to know about? Uh, mental, yes. <laughs> oh, our friend says she has some mental issues. Now, I can believe that because we're only about halfway through and she's got a whole laundry list of problems. Let's continue and listen in, shall we? Any recent head trauma, though? You haven't hit your head in like the last month or so? You have? Okay. What did the doc say? That I had a little concussion. Okay, so concussions heal. Any long-lasting effects? Sure. I don't know. I'm asking you. I know. Is there anything that would prevent you from driving that no. car? Okay. Stand with your arms by your side, please. I want you to focus on the tip of my finger, okay? Focus on my finger, please. I am. You're just, like, trying to intimidate me. I don't know how I'm trying to do that. This is the test. I need you to take your glasses off, okay? Focus on my finger. Focus on my finger, please. I am, but you're... This is just how the test goes. I know, but you're exaggerating it more than it needs to be right now. I told you the lass had problems. She thinks that she's being intimidated and that the officer is exaggerating the test. And who smiles when they're taking a DUI test anyway? Look at that big smile. Like she's going to take a picture from mom. Hi, mom! Let's skip ahead to the next test. See if she does any better on that one. Face your vehicle. Can you remember that I told you that? I'm non-binary. Yeah, I'll try my hardest. Okay? It's not something that I deal with every day, so I'll, I'll have the, uh, the mistake okay. of the habit, right? Thanks. So, I'll refer to you as Kai, right? Yes. Perfect. I want you to, to imagine about a four inch wide line, okay? That four inch wide line is just gonna go from your right foot completely straight to the back of your car. Mm -hmm. Can you picture that four inch wide line? Can you picture it? Just a straight four inch wide line. Yes. Perfect. Hang on. Do you want me? <laughs> I'm gonna go over some instructions before you do anything, okay? I need to know if you have any injuries or anything that would prevent you from doing a standard walk or a turn tonight. Mental health. Um... Any physical injuries? Mentally, yeah. <laughs> but no. Nothing that would prevent you from just walking and turning. I saw you exit the vehicle, you walked over here just fine, no complaints of injuries. No, I'm just saying. Okay. Mental, PTSD, depression, anxiety. I get you. What else do you want? 
I believe that the lass has left her medications and she has self-medicated tonight with alcohol. Now, I'm not saying that to be funny because I know a lot of people like that. Yeah, they've crossed my paths and unfortunately they don't take their medications. They like to self-medicate with drugs and alcohol, which is probably the worst thing you could do because it only makes your condition worse. Well, that's what's wrong with the lass tonight or the lad, whichever. Let's carry on. Well, unfortunately, I'm just asking about I physical. I know. Okay? I know you are. So, I want you to go ahead and put your left foot on that four-inch wide line just like I'm doing. Now, with your right foot, place it in front of your left in a heel-to-toe touching manner with your arms by your side, just like this, ma'am. Can you not call me ma'am, please? I'm trying my hardest. Okay, well. Okay. It means a lot to me. I'm trying my hardest. I don't feel like a ma'am, so. Okay. It's kind of triggering. Right foot in front of your left. Nope, go back. I'm going to place you in a position. Right foot in front of your left, heel to toe touching, just like I'm doing. Right foot in front of your left. Heel to toe touching, just like I am. I'm sorry, but the whole man thing, just like... I apologize. Let's see if we can move sorry. forward from it. Arms by your side, heel to toe touching, just like I am. So what we have here is the opposite of what was on YouTube a few years back because there was a guy that walked into the game store and he said, it's ma'am. Now this uh, last lad doesn't want to be called ma'am. She wants to be called a non-binary, which, uh, yeah, whatever. But she said she's triggered. Um, mm, I don't know. Does it, can anybody explain this to me? I'm a little confused. I, I don't get it. This is the starting position for the no, test. that's what I'm doing! Bert, you were in it. This is the starting position for the test. I don't want you to move or start the test until I tell you to do so. Can you go back to that position for me? Right foot in front of your left, heel to toe touching. Do you understand what I want you to do? Do you have any questions? No, I'm just really anxious. Okay, you have zero questions? No, but I just want to tell you that I suffer from really bad anxiety, especially uh, with generational trauma and PTSD around white people and cops, like, it's just... Uh. Oh my goodness, now the poor woman suffers from PTSD. What else is she going to come up with before these tests are done with? Hey, let's watch what she does on this test, though, because this really made me laugh. It's just like a whole thing. Hang on, ma'am. I'm asking if you have any questions before I instruct you to start. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Switch around. One, two. All right, I'm going to bring you back to the first first position I had you in, right in front of me, facing me. Facing me. This next test, I'm going to ask you to lift the leg of your choice off the ground. Well, so far she hasn't passed any test. There's no reason to think she's going to pass this one, is there? No. You want to watch it anyway? You do? Alright, let's watch a little bit of it. Do you have any questions? 1,001, 1,002. Hold on. Go back to the starting three, position. Four. Go back to the starting Five, position. Six. You didn't listen to what I said, did you? You didn't listen to what I said, ma'am. I know. I said I'm when I instruct you. Well, I said when I instruct you I to know, start. I know, and right now I just feel fucking harassed, so. Okay. I said when I instruct you okay. to start. Can you just count now? You're going to continue to count until I tell you to stop. Okay, go ahead. Go ahead and begin. Pick up where you left off, ma'am. I didn't instruct you to stop yet. You said until 1006. 1010. It's not what I said. Okay. He should just arrest her now and put her out of her misery. But I understand he has to have substantial proof when they go before the judge. I know, it's all a matter of routine. But, oh my goodness, just wait until she's arrested. She's really not going to like that. I'm going to speak with you right over here, okay? No. Yes, ma'am. 
Go ahead and place your hands behind your back. Don't, dude. Don't make don't, it hard. Please. Don't make it hard. No, don't. you're... You're going to get a resistance. Dude, I... You're going to get a resistance. I don't. Don't resist. Don't. Listen to me. Don't resist. Don't. You're being Come a here. white man and don't. You're being Come a here. white man and... Ooh we! I gotta tell you some good people. I never heard that one before. She looks like she's white to me, and she said, "You're being a white man." Hmm. Well, it, you know, I don't know. What do you good people think about that? Leave me a comment. Um, uh, this girl got some issues, though, doesn't she? She got some real issues. What do you have in your mouth? Nothing. Ew. What do you have in your mouth? Nothing. You guys are just scaring me. Lift your tongue. Lift your tongue for me. You guys are scaring me. There's nothing to be afraid of. <laughs> yes, there is. It's called fucking generational trauma. Okay, walk around my my vehicle. You fucking asshole. Have a seat. No. Have a seat. I mean, I will, but like, <laughs> can I just see you guys are being fucking assholes about? <laughs> Somebody who suffers from generational trauma, PTSD, and depression, and suicidal tendencies. Yeah. Now, for the next several minutes, this cop tries to explain to this woman that if she doesn't take a breathalyzer test right now, her license will be suspended automatically for one year. But she's just so upset, and she feels intimidated. Oh, do you think she's going to take the test? Well, I've condensed it to about 40 seconds. Let's take a listen. I am severely depressed, so... So I'm requesting you submit to a breath test. If you choose, you can request an additional chemical test. That will be paid for by us, the law enforcement agency. I'll give you a reasonable opportunity to arrange for that to happen tonight. Um, if you refuse, <clears throat> like I said, I cannot force you to take our test, but if you refuse, you will lose your New Mexico driver's license or non-resident operating privilege for one year. Your right to speak to an attorney or remain silent does not apply to the requirement of the New Mexico law that you take a breath test. There you go. So do you agree to take our test? No, I want a lawyer. Okay. Please call my mom. Yeah, I can do that for you. I have your phone. Do you have a wallet that you want to go with you tonight? Well, there you have it, folks. How to get arrested in three easy steps, five easy steps, ten easy steps, whatever you want to call it. The easy way to get arrested. <laughs> that woman got some real issues. I hope she gets the help she needs, really. But I think she needs to take her medications, and if she's not on some, she should get on some. No doubt about that. But not to worry. If you enjoy watching stupid people do stupid things on my channel, please subscribe. <laughs> As always, thanks so much for stopping by, sweetheart. Mmm, see if you can find a real job there. Uh, are you living with mama? I think you're living with your mama. You're driving your mama's car. Get a job. Move out on your own. Cheers to that. Oh, you assaulted me. I did. You assaulted me. She assaulted me. Oh, no. Yo, you're racist. Racist. Oh, that's a hate crime. You're being disorderly. Oh, call the police. Call the police. Call the police. I'm not sitting down. I refuse to sit down. I refuse. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. Big tough guy. What are you going to do about it? Nothing. Nothing. You can come try to make me. You're welcome to try to make me. Take a swing. Take a swing. What is the reason for calling the officers here? You'll go to jail, bro. Go ahead, put Stop your hands on me. me, bro. Put your hands on me. Really, no reason I'm really, to have. I'm really, I'm really unhappy that somebody did this to me. I'm gonna arrest you for trespassing in a minute. On public property? Yeah. We're asking you to leave, and you're not leaving. That's trespassing. She's jealous. She's right in my face, guys. You, you just assaulted me, man. You can't t come up and touch me like that. You don't have permission to film me in any space. I don't need permission to, yes, to you record do. you in public, man. Actually, no, that's the do. law. Salam yalla handula, alu akbar. Hagnuikan da kra, ulawala fufatai.